Do not hesitate and start creating folder structure the same as you have on your main flash drive. If you think you are forgetting something, just check the video for verification. Now change the view for this folder so we can see file extensions. We are going to create fake file just for appointing purposes. In this case I am also going to borrow file name from ISO Kali Linux image. Just keep in mind that extensions should be that. And last thing to do one more fake file in Ventoy ISO folder. With folder infrastructure like this, we can safely proceed to creating configuration file. We are going to be using Ventoid Plaxon, which is tool specifically created for creating configuration file for Ventoid. As you can see, you can do many things here, but we are going to keep it short and edit just things which are required for our project. First, we will set up directory in which Ventoid will be searching for ISO images. And simply I am going to borrow the path again to prevent any mistakes. Second thing, I am going to point to our fake ISO file and persistence file. If you are wondering why we couldn't do this on the main USB key which we are preparing, it is simple because of Plaxon tool is not going to able to see your USB key. It is only able to see key which was created by Ventoy tool. Regardless, your configuration file is ready and you can simply transfer it to your main USB key. Here is the preview how it should look like. Now we can plug back our main USB key which we are preparing and copy configuration file into the Ventoy folder. At this point, your operating system from bootable flash drive is ready to go. One of the most important things for me as IT guy was to have tool which is capable to work with the legacy computers either. In my world, it is not that uncommon to receive old computers for fixing. And one of my favorite boot CDs for that reason is Hiram's boot CD, 15.2. But can we combine modern world with the old one and still make it work? Yes, we can. Yes, we did! The last few seconds which you have seen was just copying legacy Hiren's ISO into the MPI toolpack folder and renaming it to something easier to work with. This toolkit will help you eliminate some booting problems for a particular image which you want to use. In my case, Hiren's boot image was not loading some specific features which I needed. I would recommend start it as administrator. Point it to the specific ISO file which you would like to convert. I'm just rolling here with the default. After image conversion, we are going to create another submenu with the help of the same script as before. Go to the partition 1 and open the underscore ISO folder. Don't forget to run submenu maker as administrator. Pick up the right partition, in our case E2B. Here I am creating folder menu entry 
and description for that entry just for the aesthetic reasons. When this process is finished, just copy converted ASO file into the HDCD folder. With that, all your work on your multi-purpose USB flash drive is done. From here, it is just a matter of adding stuff in similar fashion as I have already showed you. For Ventoy, all you need to do is copy bootable ISO file into the folder which we created. The rest of the video is going to be testing. You can skip this part if you don't want to. Sit back, relax and thank you for watching. Behold, the sword of a thousand truths.